Significant TV, significant stories, significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Fergie Ferguson Harden. She is the owner of Fergie's Instructional Training. Lots of energy, lots of excitement, lots of talent. Fergie, welcome to Significant TV. Hi, Fran. Thank Hi. you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. You know, it was kind of interesting to reconnect with you. We met several years ago mm -hmm. as you were doing some work on your business. Yes. And it's exciting to see how your business has evolved over the years. Yeah, it has evolved. And I want to, I want to thank you as a significant part of me. Um, developing my business mm -hmm. because you helped me with my business plan. Right, and yes. business plan is an important part. Yes. And then putting the plan in action is also what's critical. And you've done that in so many ways. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk a little bit about what your business is now and all the places that you show up when you're doing your business. Okay, all right, well I started my business um, thinking about seniors mm. and also thinking about fitness, mm -hmm. okay. and. Um, I have taken my business into nursing homes, adult daycare centers, long-term care homes, and also outside into parks mm -hmm. and into schools. Mm -hmm. And also I do a lot of personal training with individuals. Okay. So there's a realm, a, a huge realm that I cover, but my focus is mainly on seniors. Well, Talk about why seniors, seniors in fitness. That isn't necessarily a group that's connected with fitness. Exactly. Right. Exactly. My goal is to empower seniors mm -hmm. to, so that they know that fitness should be a part of their daily lives, mm -hmm. so that they know that they can take control of, mm. partially take control of their destiny, mm -hmm. you know, so that there are things that they can do daily that will help them from, it prevents falls, it helps them to mm -hmm. live, um, to be able to uh, um, go through their day and be able to do things, do everything that they do easier mm -hmm. and better. Okay. So, so what does that look like when you go into a nursing home? Are people kind mm. of like, oh no, you're going to make me move. I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, some of them okay. are a little, you know. Okay. But, but with fitness and nursing homes, fitness outside the nursing homes, if people want to get you know, they want to exercise, they want to run around, they want to get stronger, they want to lose weight. Taking it into the nursing home, it's not the same goal. Mm -hmm. When the seniors come in, first of all, it's a social aspect. Oh, they like okay. to see who else is joining in. Mm -hmm. You know, is there time in the day to connect with the other people, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, it's their time to learn what their body can do and mm -hmm. learn, you know, as opposed to what Many of them have, um, they, the, the whole idea is I cannot do that, I shouldn't do that, I'm too old, mm -hmm. you know. So I try to help them relearn and know that there's no reason for them to stop reaching high, there's no reason for them to stop stretching and moving their body and massaging their body and doing mm -hmm. things because it stimulates them and it just makes life better for them. It does. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hearing that theme, making life better, mm -hmm. having control, mm -hmm. feeling better about themselves. Yes. Talk to me about stretching. There's, there almost seems to be the physical and also the mental stretching. Oh, stretching. Stretching is, is, is an empowerment all by itself. Mm -hmm. Anyone can stretch. Everyone should stretch. Mm -hmm. And there are many ways to do it, you mm -hmm. know. Um, what it does, it improves your circulation, improves your digestion, mm. it wards off blood clots, mm. it makes you feel better, it um, brings more oxygen to the brain, it expands the lungs, there are just so many benefits. Mm. And the good thing, the empowering thing is that you're able to do that yourself. Right. You know, and only you can do that for yourself, nobody else can do that for you. Mm -hmm. So stretching is, is a big part of what I do. And, it's, and for me, seeing the way others feel once they've stretched, mm -hmm. and you know, if they got a pain in their shoulder and they don't want to move it because their range of motion is limited, mm -hmm. limited 
because they think they can't do it, but also limited because there's pain, mm -hmm. you know. And for me to be able to help them to realize that, well, you need to move, you need to stretch, you need to be able to move it because it's going to help. Wow. And for them to do it and realize, yes, it does help. That's that makes me feel good because mm -hmm. you know, it it just does. It does. Yeah. It does. And you literally have stretched across the globe. Um, you tell us about your journey to entrepreneurship. Um, yeah, tell us about your journey. Um, my, my journey started in Europe because mm -hmm. I'm from England. Mm -hmm. um, when I was um, just out of college, I was 16 because um, in, in England we, we, we end school earlier. Okay. depending on where your birthday is. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to uh, school, finished at 15, went to college, and in the midst, because I went to two colleges, then I also was able to have the opportunity to have a small business, a catering business, in a squash club. Wow. Okay. So what I did, I rented out the kitchen and um, bought the food and created different meals, hot meals, cold meals, different things. And the surrounding, um, the people in the surrounding businesses would come and they would come for lunch, Ooh. you know. Wow. So it was, it was, little did I know then, it was um, a wonderful opportunity for me because it helped me to grow socially, my mm -hmm. social skills, and, and it helped me to learn about um, you know, um, just how to deal with people and um, how to shift back and forth if there's different problems. And, great. Um, it was a g great experience for me. So that was my first opportunity at being an at entrepreneur. At 16? You know? Wow. At 16, yeah. Wow. yeah. And that was in England? And that was in England. Okay. And I think typically in England, um, we do things earlier, mm -hmm. you know. Um, younger people are given responsibility much earlier than mm -hmm. they are here in, mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's so, where I started. So then how did you go from catering mm -hmm. to fitness? Then when I came here, I came here in 1984 mm -hmm. and I liked it, uh -huh. you know. I liked it because I came here with a certain um, in England, they show different things about what America is like, and you see different things on the TV. And when I came here, I had a different concept of how it was. Okay. You know, and when I came here, I really liked it. I didn't think I would. Oh, you know? okay. My mom was here, and I have a lot of family here. Mm -hmm. um, so I came, and I, um, and then when I came here, the, um, the portion sizes were much larger than oh. they are in England. Oh, that's true. America is known for oh. large portions, right? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> this, you know, so I came for a vacation. I liked it. I went back home. I saved and I came to live. Mm -hmm. When I came to live, I started to indulge in all that food, you know, and I put on weight, oh, you know, okay. and then I had to lose it. So I went and I joined Bally's Holiday. They, I don't think Bally's no, Holiday exists no. anymore. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, yeah, and because I needed to exercise, I needed to get that weight off. And I saw the um, instructor on the stage, and you know, she was very motivational, and, and I thought, oh, I can do that. And then I became certified, and that's how I, I went into fitness. That is a great story. Yeah. That's a great story. Yes. So when you work with people one on one, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you do with them? Well, in my business, so I do the, the senior aspect, mm -hmm. and I work with in other groups with mm -hmm. my outdoor boot camp, okay. with the personal training, and I also work with seniors and also with um, other populations. So mm -hmm. if it's with seniors, I work with them to improve their balance mm -hmm. and their gait and oh. to improve their flexibility. Okay, balance, you know, gait, and flexibility, flexibility for seniors. Very okay. important. And with others, then I help them um, I'm not a registered dietitian, mm -hmm. but I am a certified. I am certified in different nutritional aspects. Oh, so I okay. give them tips on nutrition, mm -hmm. and I also create programs for them so that they can gain strength and lose weight, mm -hmm. improve their flexibility, mm -hmm. and just whatever their goal is. You know, we we set out. I figure out what their goal is. We figure it out together, and then I create a plan and we work with it. I help them to um, execute that plan. 
to get to where they need to. And so that's very consistent with mm -hmm. the name of your business, Fergie's Instructional Training. And that's exactly <laughs> what it, that's exactly what right. the instruction is really mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. So when I teach a class or when I give instruction to a client, a personal training client, it's instruction for them to be able to keep it. Okay. It's instruction for them to learn mm -hmm. and know exactly how to do it so that when I'm not there, they can still do it. That's the instructional training. I'm teaching them how to be able to do it themselves. Now you there. have a tool that you've created in order to help them. Can you um, show the journal yes, to the I have, camera so folks can see that? I actually have, um, this is a journal mm -hmm. that I give to my clients and um, on the front of the journal it has um, a, a picture of me mm -hmm. and it has, this is my logo, FIT, Fergus Instructional Training. And it also has a, just a, like a snippet of most of the things that I do, the personal training and the different areas where I go take it into nursing homes. Um, this uh, picture, you might not be able to see it, but it's of um, the group in Masonic Village. And I want to add that this group in Masonic Village, when I work with seniors, I give them a t-shirt. Oh, so all okay. my group, they all have their t-shirt. Okay. You know, it helps with the cohesiveness and the sure. social aspect. Sure. Um, and then I also go and take my clients um, and the groups into parks. We go to Kelly Drive, mm -hmm. we go to Valley Green, we go to local area schools. I take, I'll, I'll put this down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I um, take the program into um, schools where they have annual fitness days. Okay. So there's schools that I work with annually mm -hmm. and um, you know I go, I bring my equipment, set it up and then the children go through different um, exercise um, routines mm -hmm. and it's fun to see them do that because you know it, it also changes their idea of what fitness should be. Right, yeah. right. So right. It's, I, I like to take it across the whole realm even mm -hmm. though I'm focusing on seniors and I focus on seniors because when I was deciding on um, um, make it pattern, pattern in the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I decided I'd um, focus on seniors because I believe they needed it most. Okay, right. Um, so it was a special a group. They had a special need, yes, and you yes. wanted to make sure that you address that need. Right, and I wow. found that they need had that need because I was recreational director of a few nursing homes. Mm. So that's that's when I left. Um, the mm -hmm. full-time work, mm -hmm. I decided that that's what I'd do. I'd concentrate on fitness and on a population that I saw a real need. Well, that's what entrepreneurship is about. Mm -hmm. Yvonne, how can uh, folks find out more about Fergie's Instructional Fitness? Well, I have a website. Mm -hmm. I have a website. The website is transformyourlifetoday.com. Oh, spell that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Right. It's, so it's transform, T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you are. I didn't want to just put you, Y-O-U-R. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make it other, and then it would be too long anyway. Right, right. <laughs> so it's transform, you are, life, today.com mm. and then on my website there's also access to Facebook Instagram and Pinterest oh. where I post a lot of um, different um, exercises from Pinterest that makes sense yeah because your business is very visual very so yeah Pinterest yeah. Um, videos opportunities for people to see people in action yes. is really important yeah definitely wow. I love what you're doing with your business, the focus on seniors, the personal training, the emphasis on eating right, the work with the youth. Yes. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much for being part of the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to, to share it yes. and to get the word out. Right. Because everyone should be involved in some aspect of fitness. Absolutely. From children to seniors, and it should never stop. That's right. That's yeah. right. Well, I love your passion. Thank you again for being part of our show. Thank you, Fan, for having me. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, keeping you fit, Fergie's instructional training. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.